Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Quest Junkies. It is Wednesday night, my dudes, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for the Wild Man Chronicles. Say hi, guys! Hi, guys! Hi, guys. Hi, we are so Pelicans. thrilled. Pelicans? Right. Hello, Pelicans? Did you say Pelicans, Sky? What? I said, I, said, I, said I, I can't even remember. I said, like, hello, Guilingtons? I don't know. Hello, oh, Pelicans. I heard Pelicans, we, too. Uh, it's canon. It's been made canon. Welcome to the West Junkies. This is the vibe at the table. Uh, it is the best vibe of all. Uh, we are thrilled to be with you tonight for this exciting session of wild mount shenanigans uh let us quickly go around the table unfortunately our dear sasha aka renee will not be with us uh unfortunately this week but uh they will be back next week and we send them all the love and good vibes and all the things uh in the world so Let's quickly go around the table and see who we do have this week. Starting with pouring themselves a nice cup of tea. Myrid the uh, Pirate. Maybe not tea, but it's got a G in it. Um, Don't give me the magic. Hello. Uh, <laughs> um, hello, I'm Mai, <laughs> aka Myrid the Pirate. Uh, tonight I'm playing... Uh, who am I playing? Jimothy Brassfangs, the third Esquire, the not-so-eloquent College of Eloquence, Kitsune Bard... Rogue. Um, hi. Very eloquently done there, as always. I've had a practice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I forgot how to breathe for a second there. Uh, moving on <laughs> from there. Aelin! Hi, I'm Aelin. Uh, I play Celosia, the chaotic uh, sorcer sorcerer rogue barbarian, which is a very fun combination. It certainly is. Rather dangerous for a DM as well, so uh, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> I hope there's no combat or anything today. Surely not, right? Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Moving around the overlay. Is it Sarah or is it Pi or is it the other Sarah? We can never tell these days. The line's so blurred. I am Pi and Sarah this week, so... <laughs> have that. Uh, yeah, today I'm playing Pi, the BRT lock so a triple multi-class and on friday i'm um body switching with um river as sarah so hell yeah so we'll if you see. want some some friday punch punch goodness from sarah then you know exactly where to find us can't wait continuing on sky Hello, I am Sky, aka the Cosplay Bard, and I am playing Irani, the Blade Singer Wizard, and with their animal companion familiar Thena. As portrayed by Sean Connery. Indeed. <laughs> we'll meet him a little later on, I think. Yes. And I am Patch, your ever humble dungeon master. I play everybody else. Usually the bad guys, but you know it's fine. Define good and bad in a world of fantasy, really. I mean, it's 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 all a matter of opinion at the end of the day. And with all that being said, let's get into the swing of things, shall we? Where were we? Last we left off on the Wildman Chronicles. Our adventures continue in the portside city of Nicodranis. The... practically the home for this group at this point, and literally for some of the group, but quickly turning into a home for the rest. After... getting involved in catering for a wedding, which then turned into a situation where the bride was being catfished or something but the person marrying the bride looks like the alter ego of Jimothy Brassfangs who was then confused with the, the groom a very complicated messy situation began to unravel before the group but they had to get to the bottom of it they have to figure out who 
this individual is that's clearly impersonating Jimothy Brassfangs. It, it, it cannot stand. This person must be held accountable. They, they must reveal their intentions and who they are. And Well, there's lots of different ways you could solve a problem like that. Our group have gone down a very interesting route after doing some shopping, sprucing up their wardrobe, getting some brand new clothing, fit for a glamorous wedding, of course. They decided to set up a Hindu for the bride at the lavish chateau. Lots of preparations were taken, including the construction of various intimate toys by Renee. The catering not for the wedding, but this this is almost like a almost like a test room, uh, catering for the event extensively. I believe some dance moves were prepared um, by a couple of the group in particular. Uh, one certainly more than the other, um, and with the other, I'll say certain relations were strengthened upstairs. In the lavish chateau. And as the night's festivities began and the preparations were completed, the group waited. Eventually, Julesan, the bride to be, arrived to much fanfare and was wowed at the surprise Hindu waiting for her. He began enjoying everything until the door opened and was slammed shut immediately afterwards by Blood, the security man, as the individual in question, this imposter portraying themselves as Jimothy's alter ego, waltzed into the room looking for his dashing bride to be but was met with the sight of Jimothy on the stage. He did not respond well as he screamed, You! And immediately dashed forward towards the stage. And that is where we pick back up. I may have said the same thing to my cat just now. <laughs> so That's yeah, apologies. He's be, he's being a little tired. So, what are y'all doing? As you see this guy scream at Jimothy and make a run for the stage. Oh, Pi is using Starlight Step, crown in hand, appears right in front of him between Jimothy and him, turns the <laughs> spikes towards him, and. Literally pushes it in his face. This is very rude. Uh, wow, okay. Um, I mean, that's definitely going to be an attack. Uh, roll me a, just roll me a, an unarmed strike. Oh, God. We'll call, we'll, we'll call this like an improvised weapon. but Okay. Here. Can I rock up behind to do a grapple? Um... Certainly can. That is a plus three. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one definitely hits. Give me. Uh, and I'm just a. Okay. Well, be, it, it, well, because it's because of the of what you're doing. Uh, roll I'm, two. Roll two d four. For me. Okay. I I just want to make him stop if I hit him. Okay. Are you are you opting to not cause damage? Because you definitely oh, will fine. cause damage. He deserves it. Oh, okay. it's fine. Four piercing. Four uh, ground piercing damage, damage, I guess. <laughs> his, his perfectly proportioned face gets pierced by the points of this crown as he immediately stops and hands come up to his face as he pulls back. Ah! Ah! Salosia. 
You wanted to go up behind and grapple? Yeah. He's very distracted, so I'll give you advantage. (laughs) I don't need it. (laughs) Okay, then. (laughs) Um, Let me check what my strength or athletics modifier is. Uh, That's a plus two for uh, natural 20 for 22. That's you how, show off. <laughs> that's how Aelin starts games with a nat twenty, yeah. folks. Nice. Spam those emotes in the chat if you have them. Okay, you, without any trouble whatsoever, immediately grapple this individual who is reeling from being stabbed in the face by a pointy crown. Celestia You're tries me. to make it look friendly. Oh. No. Uh, I think we need to look at this. I didn't want to stab you. <laughs> I imagine it. I imagine it's behind, you? like. I imagine Jimothy's just there holding his Lucy Lely ready to strike, but he's just kind of like, what the fuck, still going on? Um, that's, Can we that's drag him vision. towards the kitchen? I mean, he's, he's grappled with an at 20. You can do what you want. <laughs> Kitchen or upstairs, I don't fucking care. Let's get him out of the room. <laughs> That's a lot of energy you're coming at. I think you might be a little drunk already. Let's take you somewhere else to settle down. Yeah, yes, <sighs> my darlings, because I don't think we need any murder on the dance floor, to be honest. <laughs> Celestia just throws him over her shoulder. You just... Nice. You- he, he doesn't resist, but you do hear him shout as you do this and you begin to remove him from the room. You do hear, uh, you'll get yours, brass fangs. You'll get yours. Done. Done nothing. Okay. Um, rude. Pi yells over to Renee to bring the two drinks. <laughs> hmm. She just holds up the two drinks that have already been prepared with a cheeky okay. smile. Do we are we going to the kitchen? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, I I would say we bring him to a room that's not occupied, in the like. A oh, looking at the piercing stuff. I did choose face since there's still a wedding. You know, just still pretense for everybody around. But mm. yeah, I was just yeah. What's the bride up to? Gilles Song. Uh, at the minute, she's. It, looking in shock at whatever's just happened um, she's not doing anything she looks like she's still processing like the last 12 seconds um, okay I'm gonna go up to her and just say it's okay we'll sort him out and bring him back to you and then head oh. off and join with the others in one Why? piece what, what, what happened <laughs> think he's a little excited for the wedding <laughs> everyone is not not believing what they're saying <laughs> she's just like no. there's, there's, look there's like just, a, a just way sit to here s- for a moment we attend to him and figure out why you got crazy and everything and then you'll have you'll get him back okay she just like grabs a drink from a tray held by one of the wait staff that's next to her and just downs it <laughs> um, Pi actually wings at that person to keep her occupied. If it's drinking or entertaining, it doesn't matter. It's just keep her away from him. You get a tap on your shoulder and blue stuff behind you. I could read my new poetry. People find it very Lovely. distracting. <laughs> blue tears in his mind. Read your poetry, but as soon as you see commotion and this guy trying to escape the door. <laughs> okay. And uh, as you sort of vacate the area, you do hear Blue begin to clear his throat. <clears throat> there once was a man from Taudore. They said he had a massive. And then you don't hear the rest. <laughs> Rhymes with Tardori. <laughs> okay. So yeah. 
you drag, well, carry the individual in question away. You're going upstairs, did you say? Or into the kitchens? Or just a room that's unoccupied. Yeah. Yeah, wherever there is a room, probably upstairs. If if there's like a, yeah, a bit more, we have a lot of people. I mean, (laughs) it's, it's only been a few hours since you last held a hostage upstairs in the lavish chateau so oh no we're having Just a little saying. bit of a habit aren't we gonna grow a reputation i mean that room is still prepared i guess it is it has not been used <laughs> since might as well what's a okay. test run <laughs> okay you re-enter the I guess we'll call it the Red Room of the Lava Chateau, which has its own implications. Um, the Fifty chair shades of pain. still mm-hmm. remains in the middle of the room with the manacles attached to it. You went to the Celestia room. Celestia will set him down in the chair. Oh, you damaged my face too much. I'm supposed to be getting married. It's okay, don't worry. She pretends to fix his face for now. Who depending on you? how he... What? Who are you? What are you doing? Why, 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 why are you targeting me? What did I do? Why, why are you targeting me? Why That's do you look does. like... That's when he notices Me. Jimothy's walked in the room. <sighs> you. Brass face. You. Whatever this your is name all, is. It's all your fucking fault, this. What have I done? Don't try you and sound pull like the one wool of those over my broken eyes. toys. Well, I guess I am Sorry, a little bit broken. I'm- so, who are you? Who, who are you? Jemric Orabeth. Oh, that's really your name. Oh, yeah. What else would I be called? Oh, so it's not Chen- generic bor whatever. Okay. Generic no, I, bad breath. People used to call me that at school. Like, that's it's actually quite offensive, you know. <gasps> It, it sounds offensive, that's why I'm asking. So where are you from originally? Also, I think you need to drink this. It's going to heal you up a tiny bit. And she gives him the um, cl- um, the chalice with a palace. Make a persuasion check. Oh, he can't. We'll force it. <laughs> but yes, I will. <laughs> he rolled a five. So if you can beat a five, he'll drink it. <laughs> a 21 <laughs> against just better judgment he takes the chalice and downs it in one oh, oh god that is the truth serum kind of zone of truth for him zone not for truth. us just for him okay uh, that was quite tasty actually that's uh, good Technically, I think he needs to do a, a wisdom saving throw here. Let me check. Uh, but I also put dust of deliciousness in it, so it tastes better. And he has Very disadvantage clever. on the saving throw. I figured this was the plan. <clears throat> yeah. At disadvantage, that's an eight. Yeah, that is... No. Okay, you got him in the zone of truth. Ten minutes. Truth. Okay. Actually, you know what? It doesn't actually hurt as bad as I made it out. Uh, Look, if you tell us the truth, all is good and I'll fix your face later. But for now, um, sorry for this. And she puts the manacles on him so he can't escape. Oh, come on. I mean, I like manacles on It's a bit kinky. Maybe we'll bring your bride to be up. Don't, Don't worry about it. We can bring her upstairs later and you can have some fun before the wedding. If everything is true, what you're saying. So. Yeah, but that's taboo. You're not supposed to see the before the, before the wedding. No, no, that's when she is in the wedding dress. She is not. No, 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 no. Coming to the hen. Fine. Then. Look, all we want to know is why the fuck you look like me. 
and then um, I, I imagine like while he's saying that shift change into Lothario interesting so you now take on the same face that he wears yeah and his expression immediately changes into one of shock wait how did you do that I'm a kitsune darling that's what we do we have a human form didn't you know that so so you could just do that. That that wasn't forced on you. I mean, it, when I was younger, when I was learning, it was not exactly forced, but when I was learning through my mother, um, I suppose she helped bring it out in me. But now right. it's just as easy as breathing. Is this your real form? Do you just look like Jimothy or what? Or are you forced into this form because you act so weirdly currently? His whole demeanor changes at this point, and he gets quite withdrawn. Uh, the anger just seems to vanish. No. Now, please answer my question, sir. Why are you targeting me? What is it I have done to you? Because I was told the reason why I looked like this was because of someone called Jimothy Brassfangs. Well, there's there's a few of us. Jimothy Brath, Brassfangs. I have a Jimogen as a cousin. So, are you looking for the original Jimmy? Or are you looking for my father and me? I don't know. Or my cousins. All I know um, is I got given this face not by choice and now I've Did had to different? move around so much because there's warrants out for arrest for this face and <clears throat> so many different names and and I, I, I just I, I've tried to get I've tried to be cured but I just I <sighs> what are the other names well well there's one and I don't believe I've shown this to the rest of the gang yeah. but the but um, back in Zadash I may have seen um, this lovely scroll on the wall and he shows them the wanted poster for Lothario Renard hmm. so yes Sorry, I didn't tell you sooner, folks, but... He sees it, and he says, Yeah, that's one of the names. But... Just for me, because I'm dumb sometimes, do you have a different face normally and ended up with that face, or have you always been like this? I, I, I didn't look like this before. I was... much... uglier. Why am I saying that? Why am... Why am I being honest about that? I... Okay. But did you have longer ears? Did you have a different skin color? Can you describe yourself? How how did you look before? Were you taller, smaller, whatever? I was average height. I was spotty. Freckled face. Broken nose. Uh, buck teeth. Like, visually appalling is what people used to say. Why am I owning up to this? The fuck? I suppose this is a bit of an upgrade for you, then. It's a shame they didn't choose someone else's face. Because I quite like mine. Well, it's... It is. I mean... No... No person would ever look at me twice romantically, and then... Sheila's mm. son saw me like this, and... She was the first one to ever really care. And he starts welling up. He's like... I don't know why I'm being so honest, but... It actually feels good to talk. Oh, darling. Maybe it is so are curing you, you. Are you really romantically interested in her? Oh, God, yeah. She's she's the first person your... who would truly be kind and and just and and not judge me by a singular 
thing. She she accepts me for who I am. Well, you have a pretty outside right now. She might not, you know, if we take it away, do you think she will still like the inside? Hmm. Not to be mean. Well, I'm now just that you've saying, said that, she might be attracted by the now you, outside. Now that you've said that, I'm not sure, and I'm feeling very anxious about that now. Why am I well, the main thing? question is: Have you, have you, have either of you even done the whole thirty-six questions of love? Because that's definitely one way of learning whether or not the person loves you for who you are or who you are on the outside. So I would probably suggest before you, you know tie the knot, so to speak, uh, you should probably have that sort of couple therapy first. She only ever asked me one question, and that was enough for me. What was that? Are you okay? Hmm. That's fucking adorable. Well, she is a good one. <laughs> so what so is your um, business, line of business? Mostly textiles, but uh, on the side, I do have connections with some sort of less legal businesses. Why the fuck am I saying this? Um, when, I used to have... Since when I like this, did something happen? Sorry, repeat the question? I, I didn't hear it. Uh, Sorry, since when are you like this? Did something happen where you where you're like doing business with some shady people or it was it was a few years ago. I was actually on vacation. I'd been working all summer and I'd 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 worked hard. We just closed this fantastic deal. Uh we were making uh merchandise for uh the you know that local uh, kids' adventure park, the the wild wild out place. Like we 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 did all their merchandising, mm -hmm. and it was a huge contract, and and we made you know we made a lot of money. And I thought oh, I'll take a bit of a vacation. And I'll uh, you know go and you explore. Go? And well, I came here first, and then the plan was oh. to uh, charter a boat and f find. You know, there's all those tropical islands and places. I wanted to go see one. Uh, Bisaft Isle always had my eye. I didn't really know anything about it, but uh, never made it to the boat. And I Why not? Woke up one morning, and my face had changed, and there was just a note on my bedside table. It said, "Courtesy of Jim Brassfangs." Do you That's remember it. who was captain on the ship? Or which ship it was? I never got to meet them. I never got to the ship. Oh, it was still here in Nicotrans, or where? Mm -hmm. They probably went off without me, so... I Did mean, you when you, have when any you wake up and you... Uh, do you have... songs the night before? Any what, sorry? Sorry. Did you have any particular liaisons the night before? No. No, I was just... I had a quiet night in. I'd just gotten into Nicodranas. I booked a room at one of the cheap hotels. I couldn't afford the lavish. I mean, it's quite nice being in here, and it's definitely awakening something in me. Why the fuck am I saying that? Um, Sir... I know this is probably a bit of a odd question, but do you still have the letter that was left next to you? Uh, well, not on me, but yeah, yeah, I'll have it back at, back at the hostel. I'd need to see the letter. Please. Okay. To the utmost importance. If you don't ruin my marriage I'll I'll give you the letter as long as you don't steal my face from now on I do not sir. want this face so you Why? would be okay so if you reverse it 
<laughs> he doesn't it's want to look hurt. as glamorous as you do. <laughs> um, so, what if we find a way to give you your face back or a different face? Well, that would be great. That would be honestly so amazing. That would be okay? Well, yeah. Okay. So, with your Have permission... You tried, like, getting... Oh. You go. No, no, go. It's fine. They're only just or kind before of like you do. Muses. Oh, yeah. Before you do that, um, I want to use detect thoughts on him if he's willing, even better. But I want him to basically describe the night went before it changed. Um, so maybe I get like a visual image and see things he can't remember. You know what I like? The subconscious thing. Like Inception. Oh, that's, yeah. That's and interesting. And you guys can still ask questions or whatever Irani just wanted to do because that's stuff I can see then too. That would be cool. If it works. Okay. We'll give it a try. Have you ever tried, if you want to change your face, have you tried, you know, getting really in tune with one of the elements? Anyone you felt a particular connection to? See if it draws you in. That can have lasting physical consequences. I mean, I'm the only thing I've ever been drawn into before Julesan was uh, rum. But I think if I drink enough of that, I'll probably die. So <laughs> I haven't tried that. <clears throat> the hotel um, again quick. that you were staying at before? Sorry? What was the hotel? that you were staying at before when you changed it's 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 not so much of as a hotel it's kind of like a hostel it's like where people go when they haven't got any money or they want to lie low or because you know that I'm taking a risk with the wedding but I love her she's worth any risk but every time this face is out and about in public I never know if it's going to be the last day I get to walk around before someone shanks me in an alleyway or stabs me in the face with a crown. You were attacking my friend, so... Well, I didn't have context, though. No regrets. So... Well, my sir, what I can certainly assure you is that um, I've had this face for many 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 years it's the only other face that i know that i own and to be honest i've been quite sensible with it apart from maybe wooing a couple people or using it to get my way and possibly stealing a couple of things i've not really done anything too nefarious i haven't murdered anyone with this face but i'm just as concerned as you are because I'm being accused for crimes that I have definitely not committed. How can one person be in two places at the same time? I mean, we know now, but it also seems as though that I could, this face could potentially have been in three places at the same time if you catch my drift. So I'm just as eager to fix this as much as you are. We'll all end up with this face. I mean, yeah, it's a great face, but it comes with baggage. <laughs> Pi does this, and you see the face on, on Pi's face, but the rest of the body is the same. Oh, like great. This? Now everyone's Sorry, showing tits. off they can change the fucking face, and I'm stuck here looking like Posh Boy. Okay, Fuck look, we, we can look for a solution. Um, if that is what you wish, which I think Jimothy would also uh, prefer, <laughs> if you wouldn't yes, run around with. I don't like with... to share too much, so yeah. So, um, I worked hard also, for this face. Could you, before before we go further and fetch what whoever or the letter or whatever, could you just describe the night if you saw something? Um, and I'm telling you now, I will look into your mind. You can try to resist, but it's going to be hard. I'm just saying, so don't be scared. You will feel it, but just 
relax, okay? I will fix your face, I promise. If I get my apple ever after, we shall listen. If you both agree and consent. Well, it's like I said before. It's like I said before. She's worth the risk. You do Um, it well. Maybe tell her about the plan to change your face before you Mm -hmm. get married. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Now that I know I can, I can do right. Um... I will go oh, ahead. Uh, Pi has changed back her face, by the way, because that's super creepy having three people <laughs> with the same face. <laughs> one of us, one of us. One of us. Um, yay. I will make a history check for him to see if he can how much mm-hmm. he can recall from that night. That's a fourteen, that's not bad. So say over the remaining minutes of the ten minute window for this truth incantation he tries to recall as much detail as possible he just got back to the hostel got ready for bed the hostel was quiet there wasn't many people staying there at the time he didn't think anything of it got himself into bed and then for about two hours before going to sleep would just was updating his journal, filling out a few, like, almost like tax returns for the business that he conducted. Um, eventually went to sleep. With a 14, I'll say the one thing that you notice is that he left his window open that night. Okay. Did he drink or eat something? Not that he mentioned, no. So I don't see anything in the room either? No, something room that feels out of bare. place? There's just his, okay. his belongings it, in the backpack. and. Is it one bed? Yeah. Okay. And then when he wakes up... What does he see or remember? When he wakes up, he goes about his morning routine as usual until he goes to straighten up his tie in the mirror and someone else is looking at him, a different face, and he panics. Is the window still open? (laughs) Yes. I have a question to ask him. Okay. I'll say you've got time for one more before the spell runs off. Runs out. Okay. Um, Irani, you wanted a, you had a question though, didn't you? I was you? just going to say, whilst this is going on, I want to be casting Identify. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to go Identify big first. Um... So, the people you did business with, do you remember their names? Where they were from? Well, the the big deal that we got, yeah, they, they were locals. Uh, the It's the adventure camp just out of town. Um, oh, it's... Okay. But, the, the, but the boss, like, do you, know, do you remember who the boss is? That's a three. Mm, damn it. No, it was a while ago. But yeah, if it's the Wild Mountain thing, we know who the boss is. If it's the Wild Wings. And it's around about this time, the spell wears off. I mean, he's still calm and willing to talk just making Mm -hmm. you aware that the truth spell has ended. Um, 
I assume, Irani, you are casting Identify on him specifically. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you have ascertain... my owl feather again? Then just... <laughs> 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 oh, she, what? Not doing the full. Dance Why is he doing service, this really weird this dance? <laughs> What's with the Gangnam style? It's the special. It's the special wedding dance. <laughs> Everyone gets it. it. I mean, I don't hate it. Your wife but... to be had it. Was <laughs> fine with me doing this to her. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> As the identify spell completes, you ascertain the following information. Though I'm sure you already came to a similar conclusion. Jemrick is under the effects of a true polymorph spell. Mm-hmm. You see, like, Arani's eyes kind of go a bit wide. Um... You hear a message um, in your brain. Do you think we could use some, like, you know, restoring magic, or is that too weak? Um, how much would I know about this? I mean, you you are a studied Mm. arcanist who has spent many a year in a library. Mm. Um, I think you'd Centuries. know that, that true polymorph is high level magic. There's less powerful variants of shape changing spells, um, polymorph being a more common one, but true polymorph is much more difficult to get rid of. It is advanced arcane artistry. Well, it's um, beyond anything. I'm. Can I reply to your message? Your message, yeah. normal message. Yeah. Okay. Beyond anything I'm capable of right now. Okay. Um. Pi uh, nods and uh, sends a message to Timothy. Timothy, you hear <laughs> the, the other <laughs> stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Can you send a message to Yusa and ask him to come here very urgently? Uh, let my player just quickly check if I... I think yes, you have said I have, but I, I'm have, not sure. I, I do, I do. I just couldn't remember if I had spell slots for it. I do, I'm probably fine spell slots wise. Okay, cool. Um, okay. What would you like me to say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a full-on blonde discussion. So either we could bring him there, <laughs> or <laughs> he comes here, and he he is the uh, he is the, the the wizard that it's the only wizard I know that might be powerful enough to break something or help us. So we could go there or bring him here. Um, I think it's easier to bring him here so he doesn't go get away. Okay, <clears throat> darling, you sir. We seem to be in a pickle. Could you come to the lavish chateau? (laughs) Um, We need a wizard like you. Um, Ta-ta for now. That's 25, (laughs) right? (laughs) Sounds about right. Good enough. <clears throat> I couldn't decide if TF- TTFN or Tata for now, but fuck it. I mean, when there Thoris is here There is one here thing already. we could try, but I don't know if you're going to like it, Mr. Generic. So. Poor guy! <laughs> you don't get a response from you, sir. Hmm. But you do hear. A knock at the door. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Pai r- runs over, looks out. Who's there? <laughs> I believe you called for me. Oh. You hear okay. Lisa on the other end of the door. <laughs> okay, can I check if is it him? 
Damn, these wizards work fast. <laughs> Definitely yeah. looks like him. Okay. I trust this opens the door. Okay, and there you see the elegant white hair, tan skin, golden robe of Yusa. Rarely seen outside of his tower, but seems to have made an exception for a particular group of Idiots. acquaintances. Mm-hmm. Idiots, yes. <laughs> it's easier if they explain what's going on. Thanks for coming, though. I- is there a danger? <laughs> Maybe. In true polymorphed to look like this man... While somebody else commits crimes in their name, any chance of undoing the magic on this guy? Or shifting his face into someone new entirely? Potentially unique. Hmm. Not what I expected to find here. Okay. One second, and he walks into the room and sort of crouches down in front of the chair. Uh, Jemrit looks very confused right now, and a little enamored at the sight of Yusa as well. He is a very handsome man. Um, Yusa just says, oh, Sorry, excuse me one moment. And you see him start tracing these arcane sigils in the air, and his eyes glaze over as he uses his own version of identify just to confirm what you're saying well somebody really wanted to give you this face huh and you you need this reversing is this to do with the matters we discussed previously the something with the moon or we are not sure yet. But, but either way, I don't like people doing nasty things um, with my face, let alone having my face. Timothy doesn't share his toys. It's happened and to someone, one person. This could be going and, on. And the thing is, they know Timothy is also this person, so it doesn't. It's not just this face; it's also connected to Timothy. And Timothy, as an entertainer, is known, so people he can get around. So there is a lot of crime happening. So we need to stop it. Mm. Very well, um, and young man, I'm, would I'm you... not. I'm, I'm not trying to be super negative, but there could be really, really bad things. Not just like, oh, I steal your ship, more like destroying whole cities, you know? So it can be really dangerous. Not sure if it's connected to the moon and stuff, but who knows? That would be very alarming. Um, young man, would you consent to some high level sorcery? And, and Jemrick just sort of looks at him like, do I say yes? Looks at you all. Yes. 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 Fucking yes. Fucking yes. Fucking yes. Okay. It's been a while, but shouldn't be a problem. And he spreads his hands apart, and you see almost like uh, a spider's web coming out from his fingertips as he begins tracing more arcane sigils of varying different colors and he just lifts his hands over the head of Jemrick and then clamps his hands down on his shoulders and there's a flash of light there's, you feel like a, a shock wave of wind blast past you not very powerful wind but just you know like enough to blow your hair into the breeze and as the light dims the magic is dispelled. And you see Jemrick sat in the chair, looking very different. Well, that was... I haven't had to do that for a while, so 
Yes. Well, do you require anything else? A question. Are there a lot of magic users who can actually do that? Like turning people into other things? Would you know of people? Is there like a signature? Could you tell us more about the person that did that? My thoughts it is, exactly. It is not something that I personally have had experience with, but I can I can reach out to my contacts. If I hear anything, I could, can let you know. Could you also, whilst you're reaching out to people, um, could you please check to see if anyone else has my face? Aside from, obviously, me and Mr. Generic. Because um, mm, I really don't like the idea of having several people throughout Exandria looking like me. Let alone Wildmount. That may take some time, but if that is what you need, I'm happy to help. Thank you. Very oh, well. And I think there hasn't it, it. It's not a lot of time that has passed since we saw him last, right? It's a couple of days, I think, at most. Yeah, Maybe three so or four days. There wouldn't be anything new. Okay. No, it's still only been a few days. Okay. You yes, sir. Uh -huh. um, if one, if somebody who had the capabilities to scry, scryed, imagining the face of Lothario, Renard, would that mean we could possibly get a glimpse into anyone else that shares the face, or would it always go to him? Mm. What a fantastic hypothesis. I haven't the faintest idea. But that may be a good avenue to explore. Not something I'm capable of, but something mm. I could look into. Not capable yet. You are a wizard. Your capabilities are your own limits, and you set your own limits. Would you care to teach me? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> okay, bow dice. Seven. A seven. While I do maintain a lot of respect and admiration for yourself and your colleagues, um, I am not much of a teacher, but I look forward to hearing about how your skills develop over the coming days, weeks, months, years even. I foresee great things in your future. Thank you, you yes, sir. Hmm. I mean, I'd, it would have been fun to learn from you, but I'll find a way. Yes, you will. I look forward to hearing about it. Now, if that is everything, yes, sir? I believe Wensworth has a pot of tea awaiting me. No, he's actually downstairs. That's what I wanted to tell you. He is partying with us because it's actually like the bachelor party for those two. He starts tracing more symbols. His eyes glaze over. Before you go, though. Well, that little devil. That's why I wanted to ask you if I should put the care package, not so naughty things for you, just delicious things and maybe some tea. You could either have it here or just take it to the to your tower as you like, since Wentworth, Wentworth is busy downstairs. Well... I suppose I don't give him a lot of time off. We'll let him enjoy his night. Um, I'll, I'll take it back to the tower. Okay. Um, so when we walk outside, I would just fetch him some stuff and I would ask him one more question. Unless you guys want to ask him something before. Slosia yeah. did have a question. Um, I'm just, I'm drawing a blank and it's not in my new notebook for Slosia what the name of the Eyeless group was called, or... 
Oh, you mean the 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 whole? The, the yeah, like the the, the collective of the collective. I think um, it, was it called the, the collective conglomerative? <laughs> the, the conglomerate. <laughs> I believe they had a it name was the collective. The I think it was collective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just Bridget, yes. if you're in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it was um, it was the collective because it was the same time uh, the name Legion was given to that particular yeah. one which was he was they were a fan of just a question uh, regarding well other shapeshifters have you ever heard of the collective uh, Heard of many collectives. Uh, a collective of shapeshifters that split into new beings when they achieve uh, some sort of uh, enlightenment. That sounds positively awful. It does ring a bell. Um, If I recall, there was some studies about... I think it was something to do with the Underdark. Yes. Groups of... The Eyeless? Eyeless. Yes, yes, I think that was the name. Group of individuals that changed their face and... seemed to propagate in a very unique way. Whatever's led your curiosities to that, may I ask? We, we met one. Yeah. Oh, you've been to the Underdark. Well, technically we, went, we met more. One was following us, so we had an encounter. And so. some tried to kill us. Especially Arani and Thena. That was really bad. Mm. They don't yes. like wizards, I think. Yes, the, the ancient texts do say they have a th hatred for cats. Particularly yeah. of the spectral kind. <laughs> They're more dog people, Inside aren't they? Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, not, not you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Seems like they hate cats. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're dealing with this particular collective, I would, I would definitely advise caution. But I, would, I would also be intrigued upon your findings once you're dealt with them. I was more so curious if you had any additional knowledge about them, but... I... It was years upon years ago when I read about them. Uh, I could try and find that information and relate to you. Only if it's not too much trouble. No, I'm, I'm rather curious now that you've brought it up. They just seem so, very hungry for knowledge, so you might be a target. Well, now I'm very curious, because I don't like being a target. So I'm going to... I, I'll, I'll graciously accept the care package, and I will um, I'll go look for some information. Okay. Self-preservation. Um, while, while they're walking out, she will ask him... Um, so how does this work with like um you know Arti and I are like connected and stuff and I get my powers I do have my powers but I can't talk to Arti and Arti is in the Feywild is there a disconnect between here and the Feywild or is it something else maybe what do you think I can't reach him it's really odd and if he was totally gone I mean I would lose my powers I would say 
You just said an awful lot in a short space of time. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not no, the traditional like spellcaster like you guys who learn. I don't. I can't read, so I can't learn it like you do. So it's more like you know, happening. It's quite all right. I think you do remarkably well. Um, there, the Feywild is a separate plane of existence, so uh, there is often disconnect and issues. It's certainly not easy to travel between the planes. So, what if we ever wanted to go there just to check on him? Could you help us? I mean, I, I could. It's quite no, it's a just dangerous experience, but um, ah. hypothetically, I of have fun. the capabilities <laughs> to do so. Um, the possibility you know, of which it's, is debatable. You you got stuck in that city and stuff, so it can't be more dangerous than that. Say what it sounds I, like. I am very much a fan of this plane. The material plane where home is. I quite like All it right. here. Yes. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. She hands him a couple of things she packed. I hope this is okay. There. <laughs> Thank you, and um, I'll, I'll be in touch. Thank you. Up. So, Mr. Generic, should we get you to your bride? <laughs> this whole time, he has been sat there with his eyes, hands over his eyes, like, did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Of course it, of course it fucking worked. Like, does, uh, You're I, you I, again. Anyone got a mirror? Oh, we don't. I don't know. That's what I was about to ask. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not that vain that yeah. I am. Why is it pretty good? Harry, uh, uh, <laughs> the room pulls mirrors. out a mirror. No, there is one. <laughs> oh, no, his his hands are still bound, so he, so he has been able to use his hands. His hands are still tied. Um, <sighs> there's an enormous weight lift off his shoulders. Um, but there's conflict in his face as he is both happy to see that he no longer looks like Lothario, but a little bit of disappointment that he now looks like Himself. <laughs> Darling, it's fine. With a little bit of makeup, you'll you'll look gorgeous. Mm. I hope so. Would there be anything in my disguise kit that might help him with his <laughs> acne problems? <laughs> This is this is probably the silliest. <laughs> that is probably the silliest reason to ask for a fate roll, but I'm going to ask for one. <laughs> DC fifty. Oh, I've never done a fate right. roll. Thank you for the raid. Uh, okay, so oh wait, I have. Never mind. I'm being an idiot. I'm thinking I don't have a second D10. Of course I do. Uh, one. Two. So DC fifty, you say, yeah? Yes. Fifty-one. <laughs> fifty-one. Uh, I'm putting this in the chat. I'll say you've got mostly the right tone of foundation just to be able just to mask some of it. Cool. It's, it's not quite the right tone, but it, it'll do. It'll do. It would work for Lothario's face, but probably thought it. <laughs> That's it, yeah. You're having to make two. You haven't got uh, the right palette for a very yeah. pale individual like Jemric is. Yeah. Yeah, Solosi looking at her makeup is like, that I ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah. One tries, um, but I can only work I... with the palette and canvas I have. Um... Does a good berry do enough like healing or should I use a healing word on him? I wouldn't no, no. know that I would say. Good good berry would be fine. 
Okay, so I'll feed him some stuff. So eat this. This is gonna heal your other stuff I damaged you with. Thank you. Mm. Uh, um, <clears throat> can I, I turn to the others. Back? In a second, we are not done with you yet. Um, we could all use like our uh, player talk prestidigitation. It lasts, I think, for an hour. Just make him a bit more sparkly. <laughs> I oh, mean, no. you did a really good job, Jimothy, but we could all like do some. <laughs> Maybe slick his hair back or something. Yeah. <laughs> Clean him up a bit. Make him smell nice. Put him nice. in better clothes. Yeah. Give him a exactly. little bit of a makeover. It's going to be yeah. like she's all that. <laughs> Exactly. Remove the glasses. Oh my god, you're oh. gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did this just turn into I fall in love with you. <laughs> did, did this just turn into an episode of Queer Eye Wildmount? <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. god, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a one shot. Oh my god, Rene actually has a really cool thing. It's uh also similar to the um okay. Renee okay. can do it. <laughs> Sasha, do something in the chat. You invented something cool. Let's <laughs> oh, see if they're still there. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh okay, okay. Um, we also need to prepare her. So uh, should we, either me or you, go downstairs and get her upstairs with the current face and then explain why that face looks different? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> or should we sorry. just get her? <laughs> so I've just seen in the chat. Um, <laughs> well, well, first things first. Um, I, I, th I'm going to write our young friend a note here because I feel like if she comes up, sees him with a different face, sees me with this face, she's instantly going to think I'm whatever. I'm going to go back to Jimothy, but I think that mm -hmm. I don't think this friend is rather eloquent enough to try and woo her over with his words quite yet. Yeah. So Jimothy's just going to quickly scribble down on a scroll some poetic words or like some beautiful lyrics or something to woo her over that just shoves it in his pocket. There you go, darling. That, that might help. I mean, I have a way with words after all. <laughs> oh, and we need that uh, note later, so... um. Oh yes, can't forget about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you you've helped me out, so it's the least I can do. Just um, uh, one thing at a time. I'm really nervous about this. Oh. It'll be fine. It's fine. It'll just be like driving a cart. What? Oh god. I mean, you've done all the interactions with her up to this point, so really, it's just be yourself, right? Quick question. Yes. Um, I mean, assuming you have this voice that's, that that you're putting on for Mr. Generic, is it his actual voice or does he sound like Jimothy as Lothario? No. The, the voice he just sounds like himself. Yeah, he's always sounded cool. like himself. That's he, when thank he, fuck for that. When he, when he first entered the lavish, he put on a little bit of a posher demeanor. A little posh tilt. Is it an upper it? class place? Mm. Mm-hmm. Standards. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I can get her. Do you want to do some prep work still with him, or what do we do? Sorry, prep work or breath work? Sure. <laughs> could do either. <laughs> yes. <laughs> get that diaphragm going. My breath. He's still sat there, like <laughs> still restrained, and just go. Oh, it oh fuck. Celestia will unrestrain him. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Okay. What? What are we doing? How are we You're doing? You're okay. This? Okay. You can get it out now, or um, it better not come out later. Um, I'm gonna quickly have a wee chat with um. Cammy and see about making this our, our young friend some tea um anything to try and calm him down um cool he's having some green tea so let's give him some matcha baby <laughs> he, he, Might be he a bit buzzed doesn't, but <clears throat> doesn't even question it he takes it and he drinks it oh, oh, yeah. oh that, that was hot that was hot he also oh. gets a bardic inspiration I feel inspired 
for <laughs> for charisma checks <laughs> if we can <laughs> single that. So love that. Yeah. Okay. She loves me, right? She 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 likes up this. She she's she's my dream girl. She will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. we thought she you put a spell on her, so and she clearly was not under a magical effect, so he was under your spell. Let's see if it lasts. That was your bardic inspiration. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he will take it. <laughs> okay, uh, are we? Should I get her? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's get her. Why not? Okay, um, I'll take Renee in this case and we'll start slowly preparing her that things are different than what okay. she expects. All right. Oh dear. So I will say, for the sake of brevity, you spend the next half an hour to an hour explaining to Paul Julesson what's happened, the reality of the situation. She takes it bravely um, with an open mind, but she's a little terrified. Before they see each other, both need to close their eyes and talk to each other before they open it. Okay. So she still hears him. They're still the. It's still the same person. Yeah. Okay. And because I don't want to role play me having a conversation <laughs> with myself about whether or not I still love myself because my looks have changed. Hedge, and... you should always love yourself. <laughs> love your inner child. So disappointing. <laughs> Hashtag self love. All right, Hashtag okay. we you take want, a you bio this? break. You and want this? Hell yeah. You want this? <laughs> you ask for always, it. We you always want it. it. We want this Jekyll and Hyde situation. So we <laughs> cut We cut a short time later into the room. The two are sat this, in chairs way, across context, from each other. Jimothy's playing beautiful music behind all this. Mm-hmm. Lorani's just watching. <laughs> That's what he's playing. They are sat in chairs opposite each other with blindfolds on. Oh my god. And they're just talking. It is a therapy session. <laughs> Jewelers, son. My dear, I'm... I hope you can see past the face that I now wear. I know it is not the chiseled and lavish, ironically face that you are used to but beneath the skin you know beneath all of what you're about to see is the heart and the soul of the man who still loves you and still wants to be yours forever I will pray to any of the gods Fucking even the betrayer gods if I have to. That you still see me for who I am. She doesn't reply at first. But we see a small tear run down from beneath the blindfold. And before even speaking, she just takes the blindfold off. And she looks at him. I don't give a piss what you look like. You're my little generic. Nothing will change that. And if I'm honest, I kind of prefer gingers anyway. And they just, like, he pulls the blindfold over and they, they, they just go into an embrace. And the music swells as the curtain shuts on this lovey-dovey scene. As we go ahead and take Imagine. our 10-minute bio break. <laughs> Yay!
Imagine all the generic babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that no, it's like... not the quote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your baby, it's so generic. <laughs> Stop by a question keys for a all soup. your generic baby needs. <laughs> it's not a name brand, it's a generic brand. <laughs> oh, that's a t shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, folks, do stick around. We're going to take a quick bio break for the next 10 minutes or so. Um, but when we return. We will have more Wildmont Chronicles waiting for you. See you shortly.
welcome me. back, dear friends. That's sweet. Hi. Come back to the Wildman Chronicles, right here on Quest Junkies. So before the break, the group apprehended the imposter of Timothy Brassfangs, this individual who's clearly stolen the identity and, and, and is up to no good, and as it turned out, the story was not quite what they expected. As it turns out, he was as much a victim as Jimothy Brassfangs. But with some encouragement and some assistance from a high-level wizard by the name of Yusa, they were able to help him with his little problem, and in return he has offered to assist Jimothy with his. We rejoin the group back downstairs at the lavish chateau. Uh, let's have a look here. Actually, no. Let's go for this music instead. It'll play it. Nicodronus music. The vibe in the lavish is pretty good. People are enjoying the Pendu, which uh, seemed to have a slight intermission partway through there, um, but everyone is now enjoying themselves once again. A few people look a little confused by the, the couple, look a little different, but they are going around and explaining things to everybody, and everyone seems pretty jovial. <clears throat> the remainder of the evening passes by uneventful, other than the usual shenanigans that you would find at the Lavish Chateau. Uh, Marion continues performing, does another couple of duets with Jimothy Brassfangs. They go down the tree, as always. Eventually, one of you, or could be all of you, just decide to take a minute to get some fresh air and you nip through the kitchens at Lavish and find yourself out in the gardens where you see Mercy, your comrade who has been a little preoccupied as of late. In fact, Mercy has been working a little bit further on the mural he did on the side of the lavish and just as you all come outside and see him he's just putting the finishing brushworks on his last alteration and there's a big sigh of relief and then he turns and sees you all oh Hi, guys. My goodness, I I... Jim. I... Not Jim. I'm Jim. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> We're all Jim. Jimothy, I think you're confused with all the shape shifting. I don't know. Everyone's got my face. Mercy. <laughs> my goodness, chum, I was trying to say. It's quite this all right. I, uh, spectacular. I got, a little, I got a little carried away. I just... I didn't think it was finished, so I wanted to finish. And then, you know what it's like, you get one idea and then you think, oh, maybe I'll add this, and then there's another bit, and... Mm. Yeah. I got carried away. Oh. Where was it going? Well, we've, um, the happy couple are inside, enjoying their celebration. And, yeah, you've been rather quiet, my friend. Everything all right? Yeah. Just in general? Well, I've been painting, and I've also been doing a lot of thinking. 
painting's really good for thinking. It you really clear your mind. I... I realized something that I don't think I've had a home since Avalir, which was a long time ago. I've walked here, there, and everywhere. But settling down is something that I just never felt the need to. And it's, it's kind of funny, really, because, you know, we, we all got together and we went on this grand adventure and you know, I made some animal friends and a conversation with the Lord of the Hells and, you know, got some drugs from a shop merchant. A lot of stuff happened. But then we found our way back here. Good old Nicodronus. I can see why you like it here. I like it here too. It's real good. It's a lovely place to visit. It is, and it got me thinking. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I saw Eleonore in one of my paintings. Like she, she was there and we talked, had a conversation. It was, it was amazing. I don't know if I did that or if it was because of the, the, ch the church that we were at or. Were the mushrooms growing along your arms? That is a possibility that I did not consider, but I, I'm choosing to believe that, that it was, it was her. What are you I trying to say, Mercy? Figuratively, and in some ways, literally, I think it's time I put some roots down, as it were. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but I'm real old. I've been mm. around a long time. And I really, really love this place. It's so peaceful and vibrant and fun. It can get a little crazy sometimes, but that's the fun part. And I have a feeling with all the, all this stuff with the Lord of the Hells and the eyeless and I think you guys are gonna be here there and everywhere much like I've been for years but I think I want to stay a while and I had an idea and thought I would see what you thought And he moves away from the painting and sort of steps over closer to you all. You know, I was made from an ancient magical tree. There's not many trees like me anymore. Certainly trees that walk and talk and paint and help friends get drugs and give therapy to devils and sell merch oh absolutely 
I had a couple of ideas for new designs, but a, a, another time. Um, but while... I think I decided what I want to do. Because if Eleonore is here, if she's in the paintings, then I want to see if I can spend some more time with her. And okay. I also, I also want to keep home safe, because I think that's what this is now. This, not just the lavish, but Nicodranas. It's, it's our home. So I'm going to put my roots down and I'm going to take care of this place. Then it'll be in good hands. I think so. Well, I'll certainly try. Timothy's just going to just go in, just hug him. Um, not really a thing that they tend to do very often. And he just kind of backs away, just looks up at his friend, says... You know, I always support you, no matter what choices you've made, and whatever choice you will make. And I agree, this place will be in good hands. Just... I know that you won't be going very far, but please take care of yourself. I'll try and visit as often as possible. My other question is, what are you doing with your cactus? <laughs> oh, that's right. I almost forgot, thank you. Um, well, Jimothy, you are my best friend. Maybe you could watch him for a while. At least until he's a grown-up cactus that can make his own decisions. And... Of course. I will I shall sing to him and make some wonderful music. I'm sure he'll be able to contribute in some way. Mm-hmm. Need to get That's him really nice. learning how to um, sell the merch and everything, you know. Yeah, we gotta start him young, of course. Yeah, learn a trade. Mm. All right. Well, I'm proud of you, old friend. Thank you. Hugs are nice. Yeah. Irani oh. will join in with the hug as well. Okay, group hug, group hug. <laughs> okay, so Alicia follows in. Yep. The big, long arms of mercy wrap around. Don't be strangers. And don't well, forget. You're staying here? Yeah, I think. I'll let you in on a little secret. I've, I've always wanted to try this. It's exciting. What about your friends? Are they staying with you? Oh, yeah, I can. I'm hoping this will mean I can have new friends and more room for more. Well, you'll see if it works. I hope it works. I'm very excited. Well, I'll be sure that whoever comes to visit knows your song so they can play it for you in my absence. I just have to make sure that they get the notes and the key right, but would you like the scroll to be given to Marion so she can administer the music if anyone comes along and wishes to play for you? Oh, that would be lovely. Wonderful. 
I'll um, I'll be sure to do that the first, the next time I see her, which I hope is anyway. To keep this place safe, could you keep the handing out of mushrooms, aka drugs, to a minimum? I don't want this to turn into a drug den. Oh, no. <clears throat> that, yeah. The the. It's exclusive merchandise that's only available to the Brass Fangs um, and friends, okay. so you have my word. Okay, okay. Which me looks over to Arani, do you still have shrooms? Or should we level, uh, like, um, stock up. up our supplies? I have the skin. I don't have any mercy shrooms, because Mercy had the mercy shrooms. I didn't need yeah, to okay. have them as well. Oh. That I would like some mercy, mercy shrooms. If oh. that is okay. By all means. And he lifts his arm up and like a, a section underneath his arm there on the side just opens up slightly and he pulls out uh, a handful, I'll say three zoom shrooms. Mm -hmm. There we go. Don't Eat them all at once. <laughs> Mercy, how soon are you planning to, well, um, settle your roots? Well, I think it started when we started hugging. Oh, and shit. You look, you look down, and where Mercy's legs were, you now see roots of a tree beginning to burrow its way into the ground. You into a normal tree now, right? You, you're still you. We can still talk to you, right? I don't think I've ever been normal. But that's okay. Mm. There's only ever going to be one of me. You know what I realized? Because we hear a lot of stories, like back in the day, like Vox Machina, they had the sun tree they talked to, and um, the other ones also had a tree, you know, like the Mighty Nine. It it seems to be a thing here in Wildmount and uh, Alexandria. We like trees. <laughs> I mean, trees are pretty cool, but... Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah. They are. I suppose we'll officially be tree huggers then. <laughs> Very the good tree huggers. Tree huggers. <laughs> but have yeah, mercy I guess, on us <laughs> I guess you can have the first mercy tree and you mm. see he begins to grow and his he starts lifting his hands up and the colors of the ink bloom into different leaves and flowers he begins to get larger and larger and he begins to bloom do something you know when people normally like scratch hearts and names into trees I don't want to scratch that I would just want to take the paint and make a heart on the stem if you're okay with that that sure. too okay like heart that. and we love you <laughs> since we don't have a name. <laughs> and he continues to grow and grow and grow until he actually towers over the lavish chateau, blooms oh. out. The face remains on the trunk. And the last thing he says before it finishes You, my friends, you are all my butterflies. And in a flash of magic, a flock of spectral butterflies appear from the blooming tree and just begin circling around. Those butterflies are permanent. So cute. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Can't handle this. 
Imagine the leaves are butterflies too and they do this. God. And above table, as a fun little extra, the mercy tree does indeed offer some protection. Anytime you have to make a saving throw within the confines of the lavish chateau, you can add a d6 to the roll. Okay, we never leave the lavish, we only stay here. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to do something a bit cheesy and be like, whenever you're around the mercy tree, you are surrounded by the spell Sanctuary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this is, his, this is my first day, Jim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe in time. And so Mercy puts down his roots. My heart's broken. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you all just enjoy the sight under the starry sky. So it is close to midnight at this point. The spectral butterflies forever dancing around the tree. The vibrant colours of the leaves matching Mercy's hair. And just a genuine feel of peace and serenity in the air. It's almost like this now feels like a holy place. But without the divinity, this is, this is something new. I think Timothy's going to sit beneath the mercy tree, acquires the little plant and the scroll, and just sits there plucking away his lutilele playing the melody of mercy. And I think he's probably going to be the last to leave. going to stay there until he can no longer keep his eyes open okay what did mercy paint by the way the mural no longer depicts the visions that was had before no more embellishments of flame and fire No more horrors of the past. It's a mural full of moments. Moments of your journey. Moments from before your journey. Moments such as the first time Mercy met Jimothy on the road. First time the group got together at the open stage night. Battling werewolves under the lighthouse, under a red moon. Your entire adventure together is chronicled in this mural. And at the very center, there's just a space that is just white, but in the center, almost like a childlike drawing of Mercy and Eleonore holding hands. Sweet Jesus patch. <laughs> Irani there... would like to take oh. No oh, yeah. please, please. Yeah. Irani would like to take three of the leaves from the tree, one of each of the three primary colours of light and is going to affix them to their top pad of holding. The only splash of non-monochrome in their outfit. Amazing. Amazing. Pi is actually climbing up the tree a bit and sits in, on one of the branches and starts talking to um, the tree. <laughs> I'm not sure mm -hmm. if there's a response or not. It doesn't really matter, but 
There was a moment when they were actually uh, watching the stars and talking about like the constellation and stuff. And that's kind of what she recalls and talks about, hey, look, I see the butterfly up there and whatever. So, and then after a while she listens to um, Timothy making music and then climbs down and goes inside towards the kitchen to check the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting as you set up in the tree, as you sort of get sat down on the branch, you feel it actually move as it adjusts so that you're secure and comfortable. Oh, um, and her eyes flicker since she has the galaxy stuff going on. So it's reflecting what they see above. Okay. Celosia does something similar to Pi, except instead of going up in the branches, just lays up on the roof and just watches the stars and listens to Jimothy play. Okay. Probably falls asleep there. All right. So unless anything, unless there's anything from anyone else. So eventually, one by one, you all find your way to sleep, wherever that may take you. No nightmares tonight, no dream sequences. Your dreams tonight are your own. After a night like this. You may all take the benefits of a long rest. Yay. Yay. Can I add the little detail? And that's that Irani will not sleep high up in the sky or anywhere like that. They're going to sit on the earth at the roots of the tree, back up against the trunk, and really feel what it is like to be connected with earth for once. Mm. Love it. Okay. Eventually, the sun rises in the sky. Morning comes. Another bustling day on the streets of Nicodranus. The first one to wake up. I think is Celosia on the roof. You feel the warm embrace of the sun waking you from your slumber. You lift your head up and you adjust. You look back towards the mercy tree and you can see Irani sat at the base beginning to stir remind me of your passive perception I know it's 17. stupid oh no it's 17 is low for you actually I'm used to you having like a <laughs> 20,000 passive perception <laughs> it's the highest we have I think it is the highest we have <laughs> that's true well 17 is enough you spot something at the base of the mercy tree that wasn't there last night on the opposite side of where Arani is beginning to awake it looks like a small chest with a, a letter attached rolled up with a little bit of ribbon I remembered your thing just from Rodania with a tree with a chest that was in the ground. Oh, that was Morgan that, Treeman. That was Morgan Treeman. <laughs> that was a different talking tree. Oh god, oh, talking amazing. trees. God. We need a I universe think... where Morgan Treeman and Mercy are just best pals. Mm -hmm. I mean they And would the be. sun tree. Yeah. Hey, tune in on Mondays. You might see the Great Reconvergence bring two trees together. You never know. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Great Reconvergence. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Slosi will very quickly fix her makeup because always. Um, and then uh, just hop down to go look at this, whatever this shiny thing is. Mm -hmm. And as you hop down, Irani, you come to consciousness after finishing your sleep. And you see Celosia approaching the tree. Oh, hey. Hey. There's a thing. She just kind of like oh. slinks over, grabs it, and then shows around you. Like, Is it trapped? That's a great thing. I should check. <laughs> okay. You can go ahead and roll to check for traps. While I shift the view over to Pi. I imagine, hmm. did you fall asleep in the kitchen by any chance? Yeah, a trance. I think we're all trancing. <laughs> it's like our four hour thing. <laughs> yeah, she's probably doing shit in the kitchen. Trans already. dance. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll cut to you as you finish preparing uh, Renee's breakfast, as Renee does not trance. So. Oh, Rene is asleep still. <laughs> uh, but at, at this point in the morning, they'll have completed their rest. So you've been up for a few hours. You've been prepping. And you look through the window of the kitchen and you see Celosia and Irani looking at something at the base of the mercy tree. Okay. She grabs a couple of things, runs outside. <laughs> Morning, I have some pastry! <laughs> Sorry, had to. Good morning, we found something. Okay, what is it? With a, wait, uh, it's investigation. Uh-huh, checking for traps, yep. That's a 17. A 17. It's not trapped. We found a not trapped chest. With a note. What does the note say? Didn't look. Got excited about the chest. Slowsy passes the note over to Arani. I open it up. You open up the note. Timothy. Hi. What does the note say? The note says To my fellow brass fangs, I treasure each and every one of you, darlings, but I am afraid this is a journey you cannot join. This chest contains a scroll for each of you, best representing my vision and admiration for you in the form of music. Might I suggest, if you attempt to play it, please use the instrument advice on the piece and a semi-talented musician. It took me a while to compose each of these. The other item in this chest should belong to all of you, as it will be a long and arduous quest before you. Keep this bottle of poison I purchased and use it wisely. Pie. Your scroll contains a song that mimics the sound of wings fluttering and the warmth of your delicious baking and heart. I'm so privileged to have met you. Give the scroll a sniff, you might like it. Also, I know you've already had a scroll, but I just couldn't resist. Renee, your generosity and intelligence astound me. I'm in awe of the capability and skills you possess. I apologize for the smears of oil on the scroll. I tried to capture your aura. Celosia, your loyalty and might might mean uh, and might mean I can always rely on you. And your tough exterior, I know you're a big softie, so please accept this scroll, which I believe portrays your soul. If you hold it up to the light, the scroll will reveal a secret just for you. And last but not least, Irani, another individual of whom I admire. Your hunger for knowledge and thirsty dance moves appear to be an oxymoron, but oh, I dig it. Keep being you, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. 
Be careful when opening the scroll, though. I may have overstuffed it with blue glitter. You may be anxious to know the reason for my departure. Our experience with Generic and his bride today made me realize the potentially grave situation I may be in. Do not find me, as I must remain in hiding. I need this time to reflect and further research my research who stole my face. Should you wish to contact me, only Marion can reach me. She can explain it further. Just know this. Each of you is more capable and worthy than you know. Lead with honor and look after each other. Forever sexy. Timothy Brassfangs III, Esquire. P.S. Think of a party name by the time I return. Another thing which isn't noted on the scroll, on the letter, along with the bottle of poison and the intricate music scrolls that are inside the chest, there is also a lock of changeling hair that Jimothy cut from one of the eyeless to use at your disposal. That's what the letter says. I think it's a little early, but I think that's the perfect place to bring tonight's session to a close. Surprise! <laughs> A massive thank you for everyone who's tuned in tonight. A little bit more of an emotional session than usual, but you know, we like to hit all the emotions. I will take this opportunity. Oh my goodness, we're being raided. <laughs> Hello, Hello friends, we're just wrapping Hello. up after a very emotional scene, but thank you for stopping by. Um, I will take this opportunity to let all of you at the table know and Renee watching in chat I see you in the next week's session Mai will be here but things will be a little bit different because it's the last week that we have Mai for and we talked for so long about doing a Law Junkies so that's what we're going to do next week. Yeah. We're going to get the group together. <laughs> we're going to cover everything so far. We'll take questions from our fans, people in the community. I'll take questions from you. I may or may not answer them because spoilers. <laughs> and we'll give Mercy and Jimothy a right good send off. What do you think, guys? Think that sounds like a good idea? Yeah. Awesome. Because that's what we're doing. Because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, thank you all so much. Let's quickly, before we raid, go around the table. My dear friends, if you'd be so kind, please reintroduce yourself, plug anything you've got to plug, and give us your favorite moment from the session. Uh, Renee, I will let you introduce yourself in the chat, because um, <laughs> you're still here. Um, but we will start with Irani. Oh, I've been playing Irani, the Blade Singer Wizard. Uh, aka in real life the cosplay bard uh, favourite moment I think was the scene where well, everything's been incredibly emotional but specifically this episode I really liked the um, the couple being like having you know patch the <laughs> both sides of the couple reconciling their Marriage surprise. So you enjoy me giving myself double double therapy. That's that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just preparing you for your own marriage. 
Wow, okay. Oof. Tony's not going to like that vote of non-confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, you changed your face too. There's something missing. Oh, it's growing back. It's growing back. <laughs> it's fine. Give it a few days. Be fine by next week. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi, I'm Pi. Sometimes I play Zara on Fridays, uh, the next two and a half Fridays uh, on Stradilicious. Uh, you also find me on the Wild Monk. Not, yeah, we are the Wild Monk Chronicles. <laughs> of Tales of Exandria, so a bit bigger than just uh, Wild Mount. Uh, on TikTok, uh, Nerdish Cosplay, on whatever, Instagram and stuff like that. Um, favorite moment? Uh, yeah, I mean the whole session as always. I'm it's, it's hard for me to choose stuff, but uh, Mercy obviously the whole setup to that, and obviously my uh, adding on top of that at the end. <laughs> 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 that whole box of <laughs> of beautiful music. Um, I got two scrolls. <laughs> Your favorite. Okay. <laughs> Tell anyone. And it's Thanks definitely not so because I forgot that I already made you a scroll. So <laughs> I was like, I already have one. I'm not saying anything. I'll take two. <laughs> it's, <fine. laughs> it's just the B side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a bootleg. That's what it is. Bootleg of the, there, yeah. of the yeah. Thank Maybe it's so a remix. Much. Who knows? <laughs> Celosia. Hi, I'm Aelin. I've been playing Celosia. Um, you can find me here on Wednesdays or um, on every other Friday for uh, Jacenta's Tyranny on Phoenix Iwaki. And um, favorite moment, I won't lie, it was the Jimothy letter that I just started crying and then couldn't stop crying. I did it, yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Being able to make the table cry is indeed a superpower. And it's it wasn't me for once. So yay. <laughs> Wait, oh. I mean I I did the first bit and then my had the grand finale. The tears start coming and they don't stop coming mm -hmm. and they don't stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that I had the idea with the butterflies in my head too, and you just described it. I'm like, get out of my head. <laughs> Sharing that brain cell. I like that we are all like vibing on the same level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. And last but certainly not least, by any measure, Jimothy Brassfangs the Third at Squire. You forgot Sky. No, I didn't. The sky already go? Oh, sky I was going to tell you off and be like, you forgot sky. <laughs> what, what an outro. There we go, folks. I'll go again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Goodness. I'm so protective of my friend. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Hello. This is why it's my last session, guys. Um, Hello. I am my AKA Myrat the Pirate. Uh... I was Jimothy Brassfangs III, Esquire, the not-so-eloquent College of Eloquence, Kitsune Bard Rogue, but not for the last time. Um, just going on a hiatus for a little while. Uh, you can find me on social media as Myrat the Pirate, or Myrat Pirate, mostly on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, sort of places. Um, I can also be found here on Monday nights. Well, only next Monday, because then I'm going on a break. Uh, as for Ronia, my suckle stars Felix Druid in the Redania Chronicles. It's going to be my last session next week. Um, and uh, every other Saturday over on Phoenix Wacky's channel in um, Fandelver and Below as Soleil, my, uh, what am I again? Twilight Domain Cleric Servant. Um, and the reason why, guys, I'm going on break is because I'm going to be playing Lady Macbeth in a production of Macbeth here in Colchester, Essex. Uh, so if anyone's in the area or wants to come and say hi, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll be back after the end of May. So, um, but I won't be a stranger. I'll miss you guys so much. My favorite moment was, um, I mean, the entire session I've been full of anxiety beans, especially as, um, yeah, Patch and I talking yesterday and be like, you know what? I think tomorrow should be my last my session. 
Um, but just seeing what everyone's reaction would be and like the, the build up. And I lied to you guys. I wasn't typing emails. I was finishing up that letter. Gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, but yeah. yeah, I'm going to miss playing at the table with all you guys, and I love you so much. Um, but we've got Lord Junkies next week, so that's going to be fun. Thank you so much. We, I think it's safe to say, on behalf of the whole table, we will miss you, but we are already excited to see you come back. PTFN. Ta ta yes. for now. Ta ta for now, indeed. And I have been Patch, your ever humble dungeon master. I played everybody else, including uh, a couple having marriage counselling. Um, as the love music comes on, thanks Sirenscape. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, what, we're going to go and thank Sirenscape in a minute as well because they're streaming, so we're going to go raid them. But yes, yeah, you nice. can find me here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Quest Junkies. You can find me every other Friday over on Phoenix Awaki alongside Aelin. Inch Center Tyranny, playing the Sassy at Classy, Order of Scribes, Kalishtal, Wizard, Cleric, Kenstar. <laughs> Next week, we have our premiere of Candela Obscura, which I'm very, very excited for. It's actually going to be my birthday as well on that day. So, birthday, yay! Um, so we're celebrating with five and a bit hours of Candela Obscura. Uh, if you love body horror, nightmare fuel, um, incredible storytelling, emotive stuff, it's it's the session for you, let me tell you. Uh, GM'd by Scarlet Song, the incredible Scarlet is so good and terrified us all. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all in the chat when that happens. We're going to hopefully, if we have chance to do it, we'll multi-stream it. But at the very least, it's going to be on YouTube uh, as a premiere. So you'll, you'll be able to jump in the chat and yeah, react to stuff. And yeah, my favorite moment. <sighs> Tough one this week. Whole session was great. I think I think it was the letter it was so perfectly delivered and said everything that I think needed to be said and yeah I won't say too much because then it'll feel like saying goodbye and it's not goodbye it's to Tavana as you said so thank you everyone for watching Stick around for the raid. All the love to you at home. We'll see you next week for Law Junkies with the Wildman Chronicles. And I guess if there's nothing else left to say, is it Wednesday yet? Good night, guys. Ta ta for now. Ta ta for now.